Well, hello, hello. This is Maxwell with the Tea Spot. I am back here at Yas Comedy Fest for the final round of the competition at the good old Broadway Comedy Club. Tonight we're going to find our winner. Hold tight. We'll see who gets it. Um, I would like to test your memories and just kind of ask if there were any jokes from a competitor along the way that's really stuck out or stuck with you. Something that kind of threw you for a loop in any sense. The mic is super hard to get in and out of the stand and someone made a joke that the lesbians did it better than anyone else. Kate says she's got a fantastic joke about how she goes. As like a trans person growing up, I was the only one who meant it when I said I'd rather cut my balls off than do that. <laughs> uh, Calvin has herpes, I think. Is that Calvin? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Mm, let's spread that all over the internet. <laughs> gonorrhea, gonorrhea, and it is not this month, okay? <laughs> kind of go off that. Have you guys really learned anything about yourselves as individuals in the queer community or as a comedian in general over these past couple weeks of the competition? So when my friends came to the first show, like, I was surprised how surprised they were at the material that they were hearing. Things about being HIV positive, things about just being like out to their parents, right. and the struggle of that. And it's just they've never uh, seen comedy that can be done in, with that topic. Right. I've done other like shows kind of like this, like competition y type shows, and everybody's just kind of like off of their own little thing on their phone. But this one, everyone's like hugging and like saying hi to each other. It's just a really, just the energy is way better. So, have you guys noticed anything specific to this festival, either on or off the stage, that really makes it stand out in the comedy world? There's a lot of people here who have been doing it forever that I really look up to, and then there's a lot of people here who are on the newer side that are coming out with like really hot jokes. Um, and the festival kind of made space for everyone, um, including giving like residencies to people um, who aren't here tonight. Um, so it seems like they're invested to keeping queer comics uh, in the club scene, not just tonight. It definitely is a, such a great space, and it's a great just community too. Because I feel like I, when I started, like there were just so few like really like out queer comedians, and so it's nice to be in a room where I'm like, oh, there's twenty of us, and we're all doing different sets about different things. So it's really nice. Having an open queer platform gives you such a chance for honesty, and people can, you know, I've really heard some things that I definitely identify with, but like I'm not hearing, I'm not seeing on TV or yeah. I'm not hearing anywhere else. Right. So that's awesome. If you had to sell Yas Fest to someone visiting New York for an evening, why here? Why now? Why tonight? Tonight has like a lot of things I would want to check off if I was, you know, here for the first time. It's a it's a comedy club in New York, which is, it's the true comedy club experience, I think. So it's a sold out crowd, and it's really hard to not have fun yeah. in a sold out crowd. And queer people are just the best, so. You can't really go wrong with the lineup of all queer people. It's just guaranteed to be funny. For a comedy show, massive diversity of like styles. Like I've seen a lot of the people go up before. Like there's a crazy breadth of types of comedy that people are doing. I'd say this is where comedy is going. Like right. this is this is oh, new yeah. stuff. Yeah. People haven't heard these in, these stories, these individuals, and these are once gonna be like big in the future. So you should we should get on this now. Yeah, thank gosh. So profound. So deep. <laughs> we'll just dub him over all of us. <laughs> so I saw you just came off the stage. How did it feel up there? I mean, it's great. Everyone's killing tonight. The yeah. crowd is into it. It's packed in there. It was awesome. They're a really, really good crowd. Yeah. I had an awesome time. The crowd was lovely. They were all very accepting of me and my crazy jokes. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, I heard it was an oversold show tonight. Yes. Line out the door. Yeah. <laughs> so how was the energy? Pre-mic, post-mic for you guys. A little more cool, calm, collected. You've been through the thick of it at this point. Pre-mic panicking, post-mic relaxed. <laughs> like a sativa, right? <laughs> yeah, everyone's just putting their best foot forward, so it's just an right. awesome show. Uh, also, you're putting your best foot forward with that glitter. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is um, <laughs> Lemonhead LA. West Coast sort of glitter place that right. really knows how to apply the shine. Now, are you guys ready for your winner? Let's hear it for Kira Miguel!
first off, congratulations. You. you made it. Thank we you. have our winner right here. Our Yas Queen. <laughs> so how does it feel making it to the promised land on the other side? Oh, uh, it feels okay. No, no, it feels, <laughs> it feels really amazing. Yeah, uh, very unexpected and yeah, so very exciting. Yeah. yeah. And how about you guys? Because I know everyone's kind of been in it for months at this point. How does it feel to have a breath of fresh air and know that the end is here? <laughs> It's just because the ending this time was so magical, I, it feels fantastic. It really, really does. Mm, greater, greater turnout than we could have ever expected, and greater lineup of finalists, and eight preliminaries later, here we are. I feel like I just gave birth. I mean, it is literally in the last three months. Well, one, I mean, we met this one at the prelims last year during Gas Fest, so I feel like we're a little girl growing up. So now that you do have the crown, the Yas crown, and the title of Yas Queen, what are you going to do over the next year with this new platform, this new kind of power, this air about you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to just represent the like queer comedy community well mm -hmm. and Drew and Peter, who yeah. honestly I owe a lot to you because I met them at this competition and I had never really performed at Broadway Comedy Club before and they're the whole reason that I made a ton of connections there and like really like moved on to the next step in my career, yeah. so. This embracing of the queer talent on the main stages of comedy clubs is so exciting to be a part of and there are so many hilarious people that just weren't allowed to tell these jokes like there's a lot of times where i would um doubt the jokes that i wanted to tell because i didn't feel like they would really work or like would these audiences understand me and i feel like if you're true to yourself and what you have to say like they will be on board with you um, and this is a great environment because like you walk in and you feel a little bit more confident knowing like they're here for a queer competition, like they're on my side, that's amazing. But it's also given me the confidence to then walk into other rooms where I don't know if that's the case and just be true to what I have to say. Why should people come to Yas Fest specifically but also support their queer comics and queer artists in this new year, new decade? Uh, the support at Yas Fest is uh, probably uh, a lot more intense than you might find in some places, not all places, um, but I think it's open, it's friendly, it's uh, supportive. I mean, our march towards equality has always hinged on us coming together in groups and supporting each other, and our allies that come out and support us as well. I mean, this, as I said it before, is a political statement, just getting on stage and saying, I am gay and here's why it's funny, or trans, or bi, or, you know, any of the letters. Um, it's... Uh, it's, it's community, and that's what we really, really care about. Well, that wraps up this episode of The Tea Spot. Thanks again for tuning in, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And be sure to go out and support those queer shows. Hope you enjoyed. Keep your eye out for the next one. Can we have one more bittersweet yas to the camera? Yas! 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 I'm here for it. Right here.